lot of friends come and the first thing a lot of them come and they go wow is this a local artist i said yes A lot of people don't really know about the Malay art, Malaysian art scene. I have this attraction for paintings that has many folds of stories. Well, I knew basically what sort of home I want. I wanted a lot of space to hang paintings. Finally, I can like have big paintings. I like paintings where I look at it and I wonder, okay, what's the story behind that? And usually the artist will have a story, but I'll have my own version. That's what attracts me. When I went to, to all these galleries, I met some other art friends. And I think the, the relationship I've built with all the people who started collecting, and they influenced me a lot. People like Papa, people like um, Zuhaimi, people like um, Steve Wong, right? They influenced me. They're like my big brother sometimes. I find her wanting. It's very deep, there's a story behind it. It's enduring and wanting at the same time. There was a painting she had of a girl holding a bunny rabbit. And the moment I saw it, I thought, oh my God, I have to have that one. Because from the back, the, the girl looked like my youngest daughter, Layla. And when I saw Joy, I just absolutely fell in love with this work. Also, I met Saki. Without doubt, those two are like my favorites. Sometimes Jai does political pieces, and I thought it was so funny because everyone was talking about frogs hopping, frogs hopping, very political. That's the, that's the thing with me. I see something immediately. It's like yes or no. So and then later on, he explained to me about the painting, about the how it's, it's actually leather. It's all with butterflies with the dollar sign, and how you know you're killing the environment. And the, the more he told me the story about the painting, the more I needed to have that. Try to stick to Malaysian art. I'm proud to be Malaysian, and I think there's a huge potential. And our art is good. Our art is world class. So when there are new gallery openings, exhibitions, art fairs, I try to take my children. We just go through, and I tell them, look at the pieces. Don't get influenced by what other people say. Don't get influenced by the trend. Just see. For me. And I think for them as well, they see something, they like it, if they can afford it, buy it. And they should start collecting, start collecting at this age now. The first painting I bought is from a gallery. They, they need to be around. They would know where the new artists are, where the talents are, how to put it together. I still go to galleries because they find fresh people, new people. It's an education for us as well at the same time. They do play a vital role. And I also, I also wonder when I'm gone, with all these artworks I've collected, what are the children going to do with it? And I always wonder, the same thing for all the art collectors, the massive big ones and the ones that have got thousands, what happens? 